with your art and with your purity of spirit, when you're giving in that way, through song, for instance, mm. you shared you're totally in that moment, giving from your heart. What happens within you? What? Oh, I don't know because I lose myself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, I think those moments where when you're completely in that flow, it's not me. And I said that before, is that you just lose yourself because you're just an instrument. We're just connected to that universe, that divine energy that's flowing through all of us. And I think when a message comes or, or it's coming from my guides, my, my God, whatever's flowing through, I think, and if it's a message, a lot of times it's just this most beautiful, intimate connection that's beyond words. And sometimes just a sound and a look and a feeling, it's just this beautiful, it doesn't, I just know it doesn't exist here. So this little brain trying to articulate something, um, it's beyond words. It's, in yoga we say wahe, wahe guru. It's like you drop your jaw, there's no words. Wahe. <laughs> there are times sometimes when I'm speaking to people, I don't know why I'm saying things and where it's coming from, or ideas will pop in my head and it's just uh, conduit. And it, it, I'm a conduit and people, that's, that's my little nickname amongst some of my friends, which again, we'll go to my last name now, Honeywell, is an electric current, right? The Honeywell <laughs> cord. <laughs> my gosh. <So laughs> wow. But I think definitely when singing, sometimes when dancing, it's just when you're completely in tune and when you just let go and you allow yourself to just be in the present, in the moment, and that's when song comes. That's when, well, for me, it's song. That's when expression, pure expression comes. To be a conduit, you have to have that space for energy yeah. to flow through you. You know, for me, I had a very healthy, and again, I bring this to my mother, she always taught me just be curious. She raised me, teaching me what she knows, but she says, I don't know everything. Learn for yourself, you know, and, and with religion, with everything, she taught me not to judge anyone. Because I think some kids in Cape Cod, I think back now, they would go and see these wild, wicked, you know, witches. <laughs> and they'd be like, scared. And I was like, hello. <laughs> <laughs> And that led me to studying in New York City, of all things, in, in, in Manhattan, I found a shaman that I studied with every week for like a couple of years. <laughs> we go to Central Park and find these rock structures in the middle of this concrete jungle and just meditate. And I was just curious, I wanted to see what it felt like, but I think that that was happening while I was going through my yoga training. So the yoga training taught me how to really ground my body and understand the energy centers of my body and to balance anything that's out of balance. So that helped me hold the energy that was coming through the shaman work that I was doing.